I'm here to talk about this Iron Mind Captain's a Crush Hand Gripper. I think this is a great training device. It's a very challenging tool. They have 11 different, um, um, basically weight weight classes that you could uh, use to challenge yourself. All right, all the way from 80 pounds all the way up to like 365 pounds of pressure. So this is a great training tool, relatively pretty safe. Like this and the power twister, I like these a lot as training tools. The power twister, the 80 kilogram one is pretty dangerous, but you gotta build up to it and just make it keep it safe for sure. You know to keep yourself safe. But this one right here, um, relatively pretty safe training tool. All right, so basically the Iron Mind has a certification thing where if the men are able to do the number three, which is about 280 pounds of pressure. They get certified from their company, right? That's a, a big accomplishment. You know, it's not easy to do that. Um, I even have a hard time doing a 1.5. You know, number three is a lot harder. 1.5 is about 167.5 pounds of pressure. Um, the number, the trainer is 100 pounds of pressure. This is the trainer right here. Um, then they got the point five, which is 120 pounds of pressure. They got the number one, which is 140 pounds. And they got the number 1.5, which is 167.5 pounds of pressure. Um, the woman had to do a number two, which I believe is 200 something pounds of pressure. Uh, even that one is pretty hard. All right, so basically the way that we're gonna do this, we're gonna have this as, you know, something to better ourselves in within this school, within this coon. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have people test um, on the hardest one. So we keep the reps to a minimum. So people, um, you know, say if somebody could do the number two just one time in each with each hand or just one time in general and nobody else could do it, then that would make the coon records. So we're just gonna be um, gauging the hardest gripper to see who could do the hardest one. What else will we be doing is also just kind of monitoring the progress of both hands so then you get motivated to work on equal strength with both hands. You know, so then we add up the score for both hands. So meaning if a person is able to do a number two one time with the right and then one time with the left, then that's equal to two total reps. If somebody can only do it one time with the right and he can't do it with the left, then he wouldn't make he wouldn't make that record. Um, what else I, I, I decided to implement is also like a, a max reps pound for pound, so that it makes it fair for the people. Because basically the way it works is if your hand is bigger, it's gonna be easier, just because you're you know this is you're, you got big hands, and also if you weigh more, it's gonna be easier. The way these things work is it goes by pounds of pressure, so it's like bench pressing. I mean, say you have a benchmark goal of getting 300 pound bench press. It's going to be a lot harder for a 150 pound person to bench press 300 pounds than it will be for someone that weighs like 220 or 240 pounds. Just because the bigger that you are, the more you should be able to, you know, lift more weights. So basically, the bigger you are, the, more, the stronger your forearm should be. So, if, you know, for myself, I weigh 145. Um, they got one that's 140, which is the number one. But the 1.5 is 167.5 pounds. I would have to jump forward in weight class. So I'd have to test myself in the 1.5 to see if I could do how many I could do max reps. So hypothetically, say I could do like one on each side or two on each side. Say I did two on each side, it would be a total of four for max reps for my weight. But if somebody weighs 180 pounds, he'd have to get the, the gripper that's around 200 pounds on uh, the step above his weight class. Um, unless he weighs exactly like 167 pounds, then he would get the 1.5. But if he weighs like 175, then he'll jump up to the next level, um, which would be the number 2. And then he'd see how many times he could do that. And basically, if he could do it, um, say, 6 times, 3 on each hand, 
then he would be um, on the record board for having the max reps for his weight class. So that's how we're going to do it. You know, so essentially a woman that weighs exactly 100 pounds could use this trainer and see how many times she could do it. Say she could do it five times each hand. It's five times each hand weighing at 100 pounds. Then I would have to do the 1.5 um, at least five times each hand, which I can't do. So then she would basically be the, the record holder for the pound for pound max reps on the gripper. And then there will be the the record for the people that have the most just could do the, the, the hardest one. If somebody could do the number two and nobody else could do it, then they would hold a record for that. But so far the only one that we have measured right now is the trainer. And last time I did a first I started off doing just sixteen. I think my forearms are tired from my working out earlier that day. And then I did 23, and then I did 25 on you know, each side. So total Ryan right now, he's a record holder because I just saw him do a video. He did 40 on his right and then 23 on his left. So he has a total of uh, 63 reps. So he's the record holder right now. Now I'm going to see if I can do better than I did before. So in order to beat him I'd ha or to get more than him, I'd have to do... Um, 32 on each side of my hands. Alright, so I'm going to test myself again to see if I can do 32 on each side. Eighteen, so I can't do it today. Forearms are definitely tired out, so I'm going to keep working on it. Some definitely train towards. Um, like I said, it's a very nice training tool, and um, it'd be nice if somebody within FMK can eventually get certified. Um, gripping the number three that's a pretty big accomplishment but as far as somebody my size is concerned to be able to grip a number three I think it would be more difficult to do that than to bench press 280 pounds because if you think about it you know what I mean I could bench press my own weight a lot of times like 33 times so I could bench press my own weight like you know 33 times right now. So I can bench press it 145 pounds 33 times. But to grip my own weight, which is a 140 pounds of pressure, I mean, I had to do that 30 times. You know, I had to do the number one 30, 33 times. It's a lot of damn times to do that. And uh, I don't think, I don't know. I've had a, a lot to work on. And even though I can bench press my own weight 33 times, I still can't bench press 280 pounds. The most I ever bench press was 265. So I can't bench press 280 pounds. So gripping 280 pounds, I don't. That's that's really hard. It's like it's basically like almost 
gripping 280 pounds at my weight is like almost bench pressing double your weight or more which is I don't know if I ever be able to do something like that but somebody in this coon that weighs around 200 pounds I think they're gonna be able they should be able to train themselves to do to, to close to 280 pounds because if they weigh around 200 pounds already they should you know they, there is a better chance for them to, to be able to do the 280 pound one weighing at 200 pounds rather than me weighing at 145 doing a 280 pound one I don't see that happening but I'm gonna try and see what the best that I can do but this is definitely something that I normally don't really work on so this is gonna be a good thing for me to, to develop and I believe that, that the stronger my forearms get um, the better that will make me in like a lot of different exercises as far as like pull-ups and bench press and human flags and you know um, thumb you know fingertip push-ups and thumb push-ups this is gonna better a lot of things than what I do so it's gonna be a good um, it's a good challenge for me so I do you know I do highly recommend this product